This is a preferred room at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. We are in building number 10, which is a Toy Story building, and room 818. Let's head on in and take a look. As we walk into our room here at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort, we're gonna start off to the left with this nice little table and chairs area. Now this table and chair setup does fold down into a queen size bed if you are going to sleep four people in this room. I'll show you that in a little bit. To the left of this is a little nightstand. If you do have the bed down, you can plug some devices in with some outlets and USB-A ports, a small cubby underneath, and then some additional storage underneath. These chairs are the generic all-star resort chairs that represent all-star movies, all-star sports, and all-star music. We have another queen bed here. To the left, we have a nightstand, sm rather small nightstand with the in-room phone, some light switches for the room, some outlets and USB-As. Four pillows are available on this queen bed for you to pick and choose from. To the right of the bed is a larger nightstand, again, with more outlets and USB-As and a light switch for the sconce right above the bed. And speaking above the bed, we do have some artwork of Mickey, Minnie, and Donald in their new-ish cartoon short art style. Across from the bed, we have the TV and dresser. This TV does come with the updated software specific to your resort hotel. The dresser has some built-in outlets and USB-A ports on either side if you do need more outlets for plugging in devices. This little area to the left of the dresser has some shelves. One has an extra pillow on it. The other has your in-room safe and then a Bible for you. And then to the right, some drawers to store some clothing. To the right of the dresser is a small waste receptacle for trash and recycling. A light right above that. And then to the right, you have your little coffee nook with a coffee maker that makes two individual cups of coffee, an outlet with a light switch built in, and an ice chest for you. This drawer here has additional coffee, teas, creamers, sugars, and cups for your stay. And then underneath all that, you have a beverage and medicine cooler for you to use. This room does have a window that you can open to look outside. We are in a preferred room, so this building is close to the lobby of All Star Movies. It's good to note that this room is also a connecting room, so if you have more family staying with you and you'd like to stay next door to each other, you can open these doors to connect the two rooms. Get you a little more space and you can walk between rooms without having to go outside. And then here we have the bathroom space. Big mirror in the bathroom, and then a smaller makeup mirror with regular lighting and a concave mirror. Light switch here to turn the mirror lights off and some outlets for you to use. Washcloths along this top shelf here. This bathroom does come with H2O face soap and a box of tissues. To the right of the mirror, we have an iron, a hair dryer, some extra toilet paper and tissues. And then as we move further to the right, we have a closet here with some storage up above and some hangers if you need to hang up some nicer clothing. And then an ironing board mounted to the side. Under the sink, you do have a lot of storage as well, along with some hand towels, more storage off to the right. Off to the left of the sink area is the shower and toilet space. You have your toilet off to the right and a small waste basket. Towels mounted right above the toilet. And then to the left as you walk in, there's the light switch for the bathroom. Some additional towel hooks, one additional towel, and your shower bath mat. This shower does have the sliding glass doors. If you've been following my other room reviews on the channel, you would know that I much prefer these sliding glass doors over the shower curtains found in some other rooms. You have wall-mounted H2O branded shampoo, conditioner, and sea salt. A little nook to store additional items if you'd like to bring your own shampoo and soap. And a nice big shower head and bathtub spigot. 
Here's what the bedroom looks like with the second bed pulled down. A little bit of a tight squeeze, but it's not terrible. With the second bed pulled down, you do have a lit space and some artwork above with Huey, Dewey, and Louie dreaming about sports, movies, and music. Just like all three all-star resorts. So that concludes our tour of the preferred bedroom at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. For one night in the middle of July with our annual pass holder discount, this room cost us $134. If you enjoyed this hotel room walkthrough, please be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to Monorail Central for more hotel room walkthroughs, Disney food reviews, and Walt Disney World Monorail Project content. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you all real soon.